Hi there, this is uh, Dr. Uh, Moeen Hasib again with another uh, topic on accreditation and quality in clinical laboratories and today's topic will be maintenance. The learning outcomes for uh, today's uh, topic will be what kind of equipment instrument are we talking about when we are talking about maintenance? How do you know if an equipment or an instrument need maintenance? How do you know what type of maintenance need needed to be done on your equipments or instruments? How do you prove that your maintenance is done on your equipments or maintenance? What would you do if the maintenance is not done on your equipment or maintenance? Uh, who should be reviewing your maintenance in your laboratory? How often should your maintenance be reviewed? How long do you keep your maintenance record? And a summary. Let's start. So what kind of equipment uh, or instrument are we talking about when we, when we are talking about uh, maintenance? Only the ones you are using for patient testing. Okay, Only the ones you are using for patient testing. So if an instrument is being validated or um, uh, you are using it for research, you don't worry about the maintenance for that or recording the maintenance for that even if you, uh, if you, even if you do it, unless you want to. Does the microscope, a water bath, and or a centrifuge need maintenance? Yes, they do if you are using them for patient uh, testing. How do you know if an equipment or an instrument need maintenance? You need to follow the manufacturer recommendation. What does the manufacturer say? Okay. Also, CAB in all CAM 30600 maintenance function check standard. It says that uh, you need to do maintenance on your equipment and instrument at least as frequent as specified by the manufacturer okay you need to schedule your maintenance you need to do it and you need to uh, record it each laboratory should establish a schedule and procedure that reasonably reflect the workload and specification of that equipment if the manufacturer does not specify what kind of uh, maintenance need to be done, you should establish a schedule and a procedure for, for that. How do you know what type of maintenance need to be done on your equipment or instrument? You follow manufacturer recommendation, daily mean daily, weekly mean weekly, monthly mean weekly, we monthly means monthly, as needed means as needed. You can do more, but you cannot do less which means you can do the weekly daily if you want, but you cannot do the daily uh, weekly. How do you prove that your maintenance is done on your equipment or instrument? By documenting it on the maintenance form that is specific for that equipment or, or instrument. It needs to be initialed by the tech who perform it. It needs to be initialed by the tech who perform it. If it's not documented, it's not done. If it's not documented, it's a rumor. This is an example of a, a maintenance form that, that I have, okay? As you can see here, you can put the instrument name, serial number, biomed number, month, a year. This is a monthly, a monthly form, okay? On the top here, you can change it to put your uh, um, the name of the instrument here on the top if you don't want to do it here. Okay, so as you can see, you have daily, weekly, monthly, and as, uh, as needed. This is a microscope uh, cleaning log. Two sheets of this will be enough for you for a whole, uh, for a whole, for a whole, um, for the whole year. The initials, of the uh, tech who's performing the um, the maintenance is 
can be um, Botia, okay? And this is a centrifuge cleaning lock. Okay, the initials are here. Okay, and the supervisor can review here. This, for the centrifuge, since it's a weekly maintenance, one sheet will be enough for you for the whole year. What would you do if the maintenance is not done on your equipment or instrument? First, you talk to the technologist, okay? Who was working on the bench that day or that week, okay? So uh, you ask them if they did the maintenance, if they, if they say yes, then let them check and initial. If they say no, I was too busy, I forgot, okay, then you circle that day and you write down in the problem section, okay, you write that you talk to the technologist not to miss the, um, the maintenance again, okay. What would you do about maintenance if your equipment uh, or instrument is down? You document the date that was down, say if it was for a week, then you say instrument was down and the engineer came, fixed the machine back to operation on this date, okay? You need to keep your repair and service records and that's where you document your uh, problems, issues, if the machine is down or is if the um, maintenance not done on the on the equipment or the instrument. Now, if the um, uh, if the, your story is too long, you can write here C attach and attach a separate sheet of paper uh, for that. Who should be reviewing in the maintenance in your laboratory? Well. It should be reviewed and signed by the medical director and uh, or designee. A designee for the medical director for maintenance and QC can be the supervisor or the or the senior, but it needs to be delegated uh, in writing. How often should your maintenance be reviewed by the supervisor? Is it daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly? If you said monthly, you are correct. So at least monthly, you need to, the medical director or designee need to be reviewing the maintenance and dating it at least monthly. Make sure your policy say monthly, not weekly or daily. It's not required that you do, you, you review the maintenance daily or weekly, but if you put it in your uh, SOP that you're gonna be doing it weekly or daily, then you have to comply with it. Otherwise, you will be cited. In all common uh, 04200, okay, it says here that uh, the um, instrument and equipment maintenance and function check records are reviewed and assessed at least monthly by the laboratory director or designee. And that's where the supervisor sign and date. On your form, you need a place for the supervisor to sign and date. How long do you keep your maintenance record? Is it one month, three months, six months, 12 months, 24 months, or forever? For cab, for, cab, uh, for cab requirement, you need to keep it for uh, two years for lab gen and five years for uh, blood bank. In, in lab gen uh, 20377, uh, laboratory record and materials are retained for an appropriate time, okay, and this is the standard and these are the type of records that you need to comply with and these are the retention uh, the retention period okay now if in, in your in section specific checklist if it says you need to keep something more then you need to go with that okay so for example if the lab gen says two years and a molecular check, let's say like five years, then you need to keep things for five years. Okay, I hope it's clear. This is just uh, another picture of the of this table in the standard. 
So basically, as applicable, you take the, the, the table from the standard and you need to put it in your SOP. A summary. You need IBBs for maintenance as applicable. You need maintenance form for all equipment instruments that have maintenance and used to for patient testing. You need to follow the lab policy and or manufacturer recommendation for performing maintenance. Maintenance needs to be documented when it's done. And it needs to be documented by the tech who perform it. Don't fill anything for anybody. Okay, let the tech who perform it uh, do it. Need corrective action when maintenance uh, is not done or equipment is down as I described to you. Need to be reviewed at least monthly by the medical director or a designee. For lab gen, generally you need to keep maintenance record for at least two years and for blood bank for, for five years. I'm done with this subject, uh, maintenance. For the next subject, please go to LIS, HANIC, quality of water, specimen retention. These are a uh, small subject, so I group all of them in one, uh, in one lesson or in one lecture. Thank you very much for watching.